All right, we're talking about money, 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 babe. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Hey everyone, my name is Kim Velez. I am a conscious life and success coach and I am really happy that you're here with me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. I love you guys tremendously. It's so nice to have such a thriving community that even if you're struggling, even if this is new to you, you're not typically bitching and moaning in the comments because we know that shit don't work, right? That's not how you get what you want. I love that you guys are ready to work on yourselves and reprogram your mind so you can manifest the life of your dreams. It gets me excited. So before I dive in talking to you about manifesting money and really how money is limitless and it's, oh my gosh, it's so juicy and yummy. I want to let you know that enrollment has opened or the cart has opened for my three day live training that you get to work with me and get coached uh, all about money mindset, all about being rich as fuck. You don't have to own your own business. You don't have to want to be an online, online entrepreneur to get tremendous value from this. But this is not only techniques and concepts and understandings that I have personally where I have basically... I don't even know what you would say. It's more than quad quadrupled my income in less than you know three years. Uh, but even before I knew law of assumption, unconsciously how I manifested successful careers um, as soon as I graduated, getting selected uh, for renowned companies and agencies and the highest paying position for someone who had zero experience. And then when I went into private practice for myself as a therapist before I became a coach, I was able to work two days a week and really manifest in you know low six figures, but nevertheless six figures. And now here I am as a coach, I've quad more than quadrupled that. Um, and I'm going to be manifesting more and more and more. So I'm really wanting to share with you guys and dive in deep about what it means to have that kind of mindset and what will really help you start manifesting in more money and help you with your blind spots that are keeping you stuck and not allowing you to receive more, keep more and fucking have more. Okay. So all the details you can find below, you'll have access forever to the replays. Um, and these are live courses that I'm doing now. So when I want to do another live, you will be notified those of you that have already joined. So you can be a part of it again at no extra cost. Um, and I'm also giving away a bonus session, uh, in early December, we will meet again after you've had time to integrate this practice. And I want to support you in whatever snags come up for you or hurdles or just touch base with you to see where you're at in any way that I can be a service to you on that fun live session. So like I said, all the details are below and I'm really excited and hoping that I get to see you guys. Um, we start October 17th, 18th and 19th at 12 p.m. Eastern time and details are below. Okay, so let's talk about this. Money is limitless. It literally is. So, you know, it's a piece of paper. Uh, I mean, even nowadays, it's more, you know, digitized than it is even paper that you can hold in your hand. It's still both, obviously, but we're not even seeing, we're not even, you know, handing money and exchanging it uh, physically anymore, right? It's all done through online trans, uh, transactions, ACHs, all different kinds of things, crypto, you know, there's all these digital currencies or ways that we're paying for things online. So, one of the things is this, is that a lot of people get really stuck when it comes to manifesting money because they think it's like some object separate from them. And as we know with law of assumption that everyone is you pushed out, well, that includes money because how do you receive money? You receive money from people. Even if it's the, you're winning the lottery, you have to have the right clerk. If you're buying scratch offs or something, kind of pick the right one for you or people to go in and buy a certain amount ahead of time for you to get the winning ticket. Uh, the ones who they do the lottery balls, they're the ones that you know actually are pulling the numbers. So the timing of when they pull the numbers. So it's clients. If you are having clients, uh, if you own your own business, you know clients wanting to find you, find you, resonate with you, love what you offer, and wanting to give you their money. Uh, whether you work for someone, them wanting to pay you more, value your work, and promote you, promote you, promote you. So all of it is about money uh, people behind money but more than that it's really understanding that 
no matter what amount of money you want, somebody has it. And I think we get tied into really, again, being stuck in your past limited experience and maybe even in your own world, depending where you've grown up, um, who you've surrounded yourself with, what is the dominant messaging about money? Is everyone broke around you? I can remember when I was young, uh, people that I was hanging out with, like in my teenage years, you know, their goal was to be on welfare and get money and child support. And I'm not knocking people on welfare, but it's like, that's not the life I want for myself. If you need it and it's something that will help you. Yeah, I've had um, support before in my early, early 20s as a single mom and really struggling, but it's not the only way that I wanted to receive money. It's not the life that I wanted to live for myself where this is all that I get forever. So you have to change your thinking you have to go bigger than that right so it's really kind of understanding am i only allowing what my past experience is controlling what i believe is possible for me um, you really have to start understanding what is my relationship with money what is my story with money do i am i stressed out every time i check my bank account i know years and years ago i used to hate looking at my credit card debt i don't even have credit card debt now my i put all my bills on my credit cards and they are paid in full every single month because i I rack up cash back so I get paid to use my credit cards now because they don't even make interest off me because I pay it immediately but a long time ago it wasn't like that I was like you know living pretty much and uh, putting things on my credit to hold me over and so to speak and I used to hate looking at it when the bills like the statements would come in I wouldn't even open them and I would just pay the bare minimum or I remember like two or three dollars over every month and I had that was a relationship I had and it was an avoidant relationship and then I remember one day it was actually um, somebody had told me like girl just transfer all your shit to zero balances and pay them off and I was like yeah I need to take charge of this so I faced them opened all the statements looked at all my balance what I really owed on everything transferred everything and then started making a plan to pay them all off and I did all that and the minute I did that I actually started receiving even more money coming to me and why was that well because in my subconscious there was a story about my credit cards there was a story about my debt there was a story about avoiding it so a lot of people think oh if i avoid it and i'm not really thinking about it and i don't really you know do what i did where i know it's there but i don't have to face it they you're you're keeping yourself stuck in this framework for yourself of this story you hold of this is your reality where you have this debt that you're trying to avoid and you're paying the minimum and you won't face it and uh, manifest a reality where it goes away. So there's so many examples. We can have stories of money that, you know, money's hard to get. It, it burns a hole in your pocket as fast as it comes in, it comes out faster. I used to have a saying that I would say all the time and I wasn't even aware of it. And sometimes I still say it. And then I firm like three times afterwards what I actually want. But I'll catch myself like when I go to the grocery store or something, you know, and they tell you the bill, I'm like, wow, I don't even have a lot for that, that amount of money. Like more as a joke, but not really, right? So even little things like that, little statements that we make, um, ideas we have about money, ideas of how we think of people with money. There's so many people out there that are just really ignorant and have um, messaging that they believe in as their truth that people with money are evil and I don't agree with that money doesn't make you good and money doesn't make you bad who you fucking were as a person your character before you had money is who you will be with money now yeah you might get a little bit more entitled I mean I even do that sometimes or annoyed at an inconvenience or something or you may find yourself wanting to just throw money at the problem so you don't really have to deal with it those are some things that happen when you have options and you have overflow and plentiful but it doesn't fundamentally change who you are at the core that's why there's a lot of people in the world that have money that do really fucking good with money and there's people in the world that don't have a lot of money and they're good fucking people and they do good by the little bit that they have so it's about who you are it's not about the money changing you I, I don't believe that I've, and I know people who actually believe that he I actually know someone he thinks that if he makes more than what he is like it's gonna corrupt him it's gonna bring something worse out in him and I'm like but if if you're not that type of person then you would set yourself up in a situation where you would have checks and balances for yourself you would have accountability you know a lot of people we can look at billionaires we can look at people 
you know, that can do crooked things with money. And a lot of them have people in their corner that are not telling them no or holding them accountable, you know, and, and that's, again, to me, that says I'm somebody who doesn't want to be different. This is who I am. And I want the people, whether I have money or not around me to align and support with my scammy way of thinking, right? That's how people are. So that's why when they get money, they're still going to scam and do things because that's just who they were before they even got that rich. So there's just the money doesn't make you evil. Money is just a, a, a form of payment that we use in this day and age that allows us to live different lifestyles and have different things. Um, so I want you to start looking at what is my story of money? How do I see myself with money? Um, how do I respond and react? You know, when I check my credit card statements, when I'm paying for things, when I have a bill that's due, when I check my bank account, I used to like always check my bank account and have like a pit in my stomach many, many years ago, nervous about, oh, God, you know, am I going to have enough till the end of the month? And I always did. I always manifest that I had just enough. But we want bigger than that, guys, right? And I've, I've overcome that because I realized way back then that, no, no, I want more. And so wanting more is not bad. I don't care who taught you that it is. It's not. So we really want to look at the limiting beliefs. So that's what I suggest you do and really start understanding it's limitless it's out there if you want and it's all relative because what you where you're at right now financially the next level up for you might seem really grand and big to you but there's somebody who surpassed that already that would look at that and say oh, i'm so happy i'm never there again i'm so happy i have triple that you know so it's so relative it's so relative to what i would spend you know, on things when I had a lower income to compared to easily how I buy things that I would have never, ever bought because my income was, you know, so different than it is now. So it will always change. It really is relative. So we, you really want to understand it's limitless. There's more than enough. If you're receiving and manifesting in more money, you're not taking it from other people. Um, you can do so many things with it uh, to bless other people if you want to, like it's so up to you. It's your prerogative. So you want to change the negative story of your self-concept in relation to money, your story of money, and, you know, really, again, pay attention. What is your viewpoint of money? And then start affirming and start uh, repeating a different story about money until you keep convincing yourself that this is who you are and this is what you get to have and you're worthy of having it. Like I've said in some of my other videos, the lottery winners, a lot of them, um, over 80%, have lost millions, hundreds of millions, tens of millions of dollars because, and I've watched some of the interviews of them, of the people who lost it, and they were basically saying like, I wasn't ready for this. So mentally, they did not align with that amount of money. So wanting something like we know with manifesting an SP, you can manifest that text, you can manifest them saying you're the one for me, but if you don't feel good enough, then you're going to manifest them right the fuck back out, right? Same thing with money. Same thing with money. And that's what these lottery winners did. They, within like two to three years, lost tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. It's crazy. People do this all the time because they don't feel good enough. They have guilt for holding it. So there's a subconscious programming that says, I can't have this. This isn't right for me. Um, I'm, I'm guilty for having this. Um, I'm not good enough for this. I'm scared it's not going to last because this is not normal for me. And so if they don't interrupt that and change that, then what they keep repeating and focusing on is what they manifested, which was not favorable. So it's limitless. There is more than enough out there. Um, change a story of money and really pay attention to it. And you can manifest limitless amounts every day.